This short video presents the FAIR epigraphy project. Over the last four decades, the discipline of epigraphy has become increasingly digital, whether in the form of major projects such as the Packard Humanities Institute searchable Greek inscriptions database, which began in approximately 1987, and the Heidelberg epigraphic database running since 1993, or in the form of smaller thematic regional or local projects such as the inscriptions for Aphrodisias, which the first edition was published online in 2004. An ever-growing number of such projects can be found, for example, on the Digital Classicist Wiki. The technologies for such activity have also evolved rapidly with the development of standards such as Unicode and Epidoc, enabling the machine-readable representation of epigraphic texts, and more broadly, the rise of semantic web technologies enabling the ever greater interconnection of data. Alongside these developments, approaches to scholarship, and especially digital scholarship, are being transformed by the increasing emphasis on open scholarship, and especially open access, exemplified by the FAIR principles, findable, accessible, interoperable, and reusable. Something which is in no way restricted to the hard sciences, but equally applicable to scholarship in the humanities. The study of epigraphy has always faced a major challenge. There are hundreds of thousands of epigraphic texts from the ancient Mediterranean alone, but their effective study almost always entails the ability to compare texts or consider groups of texts systematically. The original response to this was the great corpora projects such as the Corpus Inscriptionum Latinarum and Inscriptiones Graecae, as well as the annual gazettes such as SEG and Lanne Epigraphique. Digital databases such as PHI and Heidelberg marked a further step forward in this direction. However, neither the human nor the material resources can realistically be assembled to compile or keep up to date all of this material in a single place. This has previously been recognised in the division of corpus projects by language, period, place, and so on. An early recognition of this in the digital sphere is illustrated by the Eagle Federation of Databases established in 2003 under the auspices of the Association Internationale d'Epigraphie Grecque et Latine, the International Greek and Epigraphy Association. This federation united a number of the major existing database projects for the epigraphy of the Roman world, dividing future work between them. This principle of federation was further developed by the Eagle Europeana project, which ran from 2014 to 2016, which attempted to integrate data from these and other projects in a single database and portal. That work of integration was fundamentally challenging and was inevitably only partially achieved during the funded life of the project. However, the Eagle project itself encountered a further major challenge, which is that of sustainability. This is a challenge faced by all digital projects, namely that not only is there a need to curate the data itself, but any digital platform or tools created to present or support that data themselves require continual maintenance and long-term redevelopment. The longer-term solution, we suggest, lies in a more broadly community-based approach, which prioritises the adoption of standards in order to enable the easier integration of individual datasets. In other words, the adoption of the FAIR principles and the creation of linked open data. This avoids the essential problem of the sustainability of individual projects by making it possible for data to be accessed, considered alongside other datasets, reused, or integrated into future projects, independent of whether the individual project tools or platforms still exist. At the same time, it avoids the need for a single master database or controlling project, enabling individual scholars and projects to pursue their own research as their resources and interests permit with individual projects thereby contributing directly to the ever-increasing body of epigraphic and historical knowledge. This is the ambition of the FAIR Epigraphy Project, a three-year project funded jointly by the UK Arts and Humanities Research Council and the Deutsche Forschungsgemeinschaft, and co-directed by Marietta Horster of the Johannes Gutenberg University in Mainz and Jonathan Prague of the University of Oxford. These ideas are not new, and a lot of the work has already been done. The Leiden Conventions of the 1930s were already a recognition of such a principle, and the creation of Epidoc enabled the continuation of such editorial standards in the digital form for the recording of epigraphic texts. Similarly, 
the major corpora of the 19th century already developed basic principles of classification, and the epigraphic vocabularies developed by the Eagle Project to facilitate the initial integration of metadata from partner projects were a significant step towards the transformation of such standards into a digital format. The recent efforts by a commission supported by the International Association for Greek and Latin Epigraphy to produce a list of abbreviations of editions and works of reference for alphabetic Greek epigraphy also illustrates the same problem, albeit in a non-digital form. The existing Epigraphy Info community has already been making important efforts in this direction, reconsidering the Eagle vocabularies and supporting the first attempt to construct a linked data ontology for epigraphic data. The FAIR Epigraphy project, therefore, aims to improve existing tools and guidance for the creation and promotion of linked open data principles and practices in digital epigraphy. The early stages of the project are very much focused on community engagement, since any and all such tools and guidance must be based upon community needs and practices. If you have the time and are involved in any digital epigraphy project, please take a moment to complete our survey, follow the links on the screen, and help us make digital epigraphy more sustainable and fair. We will be issuing an anonymized report of the results next month and use the results to guide our future steps. Thank you for listening.